Bonjour. So today we are going to do a winter scene. And it's going to have like hidden aspects. It's hard to describe. Mm -hmm. It's going to be semi-hidden. So it's going to have depth. And that's Ooh. the best way I can describe it. I should have come up with a name. Like a fancy pants name, but I just haven't got one. Look. So we've got Kerry in today. We're going to wipe over with cleanup solution. We've already done the fill. If you want to see how to fill acrylic nails, check the video out. That was a very in depth video. Very in depth, yeah. So, Even I could do a fill after watching that, I reckon. Really? <laughs> you keep threatening that, Adam. I know, and everybody keeps saying, oh, let him do it, let him do it. No, <laughs> maybe. Maybe one day, I don't know. My bead, my bead pickup's all right now. You remember all those beads that I had to do? Yeah. They were all right. Yeah. I mean, how many? There was about 70 or something. <laughs> yeah, there was, there was a lot of beads. Right, so I've wiped over with Clean Up Solution nice and clean. We're going to use base coat because we want maximum, maximum adhesion. Let that brush kick over the end of the nail. So it sweeps over it and caps it. Super thin layer. It's quite easy to cap the edge of an almond shaped nail. Because you can just let the brush just whew, whew, kick over. Pop me them into the lamp. And what we're going to do as well, we're going to put, this is exciting, obviously it's exciting for me, I'm hoping it's exciting for you. We are going to use as the base colour, Night Glow. Oh. So Doc, when you're in bed tonight, it's going to be glowing in the dark. <laughs> this is what you mean by hidden, because it's hidden during the day but revealed at night. Um, no. Okay, so but, there's more there's more hiding in this. Yeah, there's more hiding of things. It's like a, it's to create depth. There's probably a really technical name for it. So this is a glow in the dark gel polish. So it's like a milky color, which is perfect for what we're gonna do on these nails. You just want thin layer. If you're layering it with other products, will that affect how much it glows in the dark? It will a little bit, yeah. But it will still glow. It's still glow. I love how Carrie's asking all the right questions. I love it. Another coat, super thin again. And I'm putting it on super thin because I don't want it to bulk the nail out because we're going to do some layering. And then on my palette, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the colour Netty. So Netty is a navy colour but it also has shimmer in it. So can you see? It's a beautiful colour. And then we're going to use the Cassidy brush. Cassidy brush has two ends. It's a double ended duck. So we've got a detail, super super fine detail brush here and we've also got on this side a one stroke brush. It's super flat. I'm going to use it to apply gel because it's so, 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 so pinched. It's so skinny. So on the index and the pinky, we're going to do this. And we're literally just going to go around the edge. And I can use the detail brush just to add more and get it even neater. So just worry about the edges being neater. Then we're going to smudge with a clean brush. Then 
make sure you keep wiping the excess off your brush cure that so this color is diesel and we're just going around with the lily liner brush and all it's going to do is add a little bit of depth right at the edge So don't worry about this not looking absolutely perfect yet because there's something else going on. We're going to do exactly the same on this one. We're going to take Diesel with a Lily Liner brush and create some quite basic. And you want them to be a little bit smudgy. You don't want them to be too defined. So you want to go a little bit thicker with these little... I want to say it's a bush. It's not a bush. It's, a... it's bits of the wilderness. A bit of pine. Pine tree. Trees. Pine tree, yes, mm. Carrie, yes. If we're going wintry. Yes, Carrie knows what I mean. So I'm pressing firm and bending the brush so it goes a little bit thicker. Put me that in. Then we're going to use quartz. Now quartz is a little bit cloudy. That's what we want. It's also got lovely little particles of like snowy glitter and mylar. And we're not going right to the edge. So it's going to create a soft focus for those edges where we blended. But we want to keep the perimeter free from any other quartz colour. Now with diesel this time, so this colour is called diesel, I'm not actually using diesel because that would be really dangerous, <laughs> very flammable. We're going to go over what we've done, but a little bit finer, so you get like that shadow in the background. Ah, uh, I wondered why you'd gone thicker. Yeah, so we're, now we're going finer. So we're not putting pressure on the brush now. Very light. Pop me them in, and then we're going to take white out, and we're going to add, add, add. We're going to add a little bit of highlight to those little fern. Fern? No, we don't say fern. Pine. Pine. Fern. Palm pine. Same bloody thing. Isn't it? <laughs> no, they're no. totally different, aren't they? <laughs> so, this is just going to give you more detail. In the lap. That kind of effect that we've done, we're going to do a similar one on these two. But we're not going to have the border and they're going to be offset. Offset's a rapper, isn't it? Is that who goes out with the uh, Cardi B? Talking about popular know. music's just not my thing. And we're going to use the Pammy Picker Upper and the design end of that to do these little tiny dots. Then we're going to put a little bit of diesel onto the lily liner, not loads, just a little bit. And we're going to pull from the centre through the dots. And we're going to dot here, 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 and here, and here. And we're going to pull to that previous dot. To create a simple snowflake, kill me that because I'm going to knock it. We're going to put quartz over the top. Pop me that in. Maybe just a tiny bit more quartz on here, just a little bit more foggage. Oh, it's foggy out there. In. Then another snowflake. 
gonna do a slightly different shape. This time we're pulling to the center. Kerry's like, yeah, I would've got a stamp on that for this bad boy. Oh yeah, definitely. Then we're gonna pull out. These dots are just like a marker for where I'm going to go. And in the lap. Right, we're going to do trees. So when you're doing a tree, this is going to be the easiest way to do it. So use the flatness of your brush to just sort of like dot into that triangle shape. And then make your point. We can do that so we know where we're kind of going to. Pine trees, not palm trees. <laughs> well, I'd quite happily take palm trees right oh, now. Oh, I know. Yeah, definitely. Pop me that in. Playing cool. Then we're going to go into the colour Netty and we're going to add a little bit of that as well. Quite random. It's just going to make the tree look a bit more dense in the middle. And then I'm going to take the excess off and just create a bit of a shadow. Underneath. Pop it in. Gonna do some like branch shapes here. Have I got Christmas songs in my head? They can do one. <laughs> Them Christmas songs can do one. And then Actually, we'll cure that and then I can do the light. So, a little kind of dotty. Bits of snow. On the tree. And some on this tree. And pop that in. Oh, it's so pretty. Very wintry. Very wintry. Walking in a winter wonderland. Still feel like I need to put the little white dots on these. And now I'm happy. That's much better, pop them. So on the thumb, I want to do some birdie weirdies. What do think about birds at the minute? I had a meeting with somebody the other day and um, a bird landed on her shoulder. And she was outside no of Tesco's, way. yeah. And get, this was how weird it was. So a friend of mine, Jamie, made this film. Yeah. And she was having a meeting with him about it. And they got they hit it off quite well because he's just this magnetic kind of like yeah. personality. Anyway, she went to Tesco's and this 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 um, bird landed on her shoulder and she took a photo of it and it was a jackdaw. What's that mean? A jackdaw, to the type of bird. Okay. And his film was called Jackdaw. No, no way. stop I, it. I am not kidding you. Stop it. I was like, because as soon as I looked at it, I went, that's a jackdaw. And she went, I know. How freaky is that? Literally landed on her shoulder and she sort of like was freak, a bit freak like. Right they're, they're big birds, they're like a crow. No. It's smaller than, a little bit smaller than the crow. And it um, it even went on her other shoulder. So it like, it just hopped over. 
she got a photo out and she like they got a phone out and she's taking self like weird like ah selfies with it and she sent it to him and she he went that's a jacked up oh my god that's how really mental is that that's mad yeah that's so crazy that is mad that's mad because so yeah. was she going to be in part of his film she's well so the film's already done and dusted but we're talking like the three of us are talking about doing projects together yeah and uh but yeah just totally that's, that's a sign that is a sign isn't it yeah. oh, it's like their man's on the walls yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's a weird sign we don't want that kind of sign so we're going to do a little birdie i said the bird 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 is the bird don't ask me what kind of bird this is i was is. just about to ask you what sort of bird is and it says it's built it know. robin red robin. breast it's well, a robin it's blue so blue. i would say a blue tit would be blue tit Mm. But they've got a very yellow in them. Yeah, but it's just a silhouette. silhouette. Blue silhouette. Blue silhouette. And oh my god, talking about birds, I've got to show you there. <laughs> <laughs> this is cat TV. Cat TV. You can see the three cats there. No. They're waiting, they're waiting. Look, the bird is coming. Bella loves going for the telly. And look, um, look, this one. So it's an actual channel? It's an actual channel. For cats. For cats. For cats. Yeah. On YouTube. Cat TV. Oh, I think I'm going to get that. They absolutely loved it. They were there for ages and that. I was fascinated by it. I was like, this is quite entertaining, actually. Right, so now on top of that, we're going to put some netty, just because it's a bit sparkly. It's going to add a little bit of depth. Just on the bird, because he's a diva. Maybe just a little bit here. Stop it, Kirsty, stop it. You're not doing realism. You're not doing realism. Step away from it. Just kill me that. Then with quartz, I'm going to come around the bird. I'm doing this basically because I forgot to put it on underneath. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, it's the best policy. I'm going to put a little bit of snow on this little branch. And in you go. So we're going to use some crystals from Crystal Parade that actually did this mix for us because it's not even available. But mm. It looks perfect for this set though. It does go perfect. And give it a shake. Look at that. Very clever. Super clever. Super clever. How can some lines in a tray do that? Mm -hmm. It's like crazy. I absolutely love it. So we're going to use some of the gummy jar. Ah, it's very gummy. To put these on with. We're going to put a big bunch of them on this one. Then we're going to seal with top coat. So make sure you push up to the crystals. Make sure you cap. What are you doing for your Christmas dinner, Carrie? Christmas dinner this year, we are actually away for Christmas. Where are you going? We're going to Landudno for Christmas. Oh, uh, when do you go there then? We go on the 22nd of December and we're there for Christmas and New Year. Oh wow, so how come you doing that? We've done it for the last couple of years. Yeah. And it's just nice being away. Yeah. Now the kids are older. So you just take yeah, the presents? We go with my mum and dad. So it's just the six of us that go. Yeah, and you take the presents though? Presents go. Well, Santa has to deliver the presents. Sorry, yes, yeah, sorry, you? sorry, yes, of course, of course, probably. So I have to just take all the food and all the wine. Yeah. And then we're in the London there. That was a lovely. Do you have? I cook, I still do. You cook? Month. Do you have yeah. like a place where you... So we, we've hired a house yeah. in, in the centre of London now. 
Right. So there Very go. nice. Stop at Christmas dinner. Go for a walk in the morning. Go to the pub. And then go back and cook dinner. Half cooked. Yeah. <laughs> Very good. I like it. I wish I was going away for Christmas again. Oh. Mexico is lush. I've never yeah. been away for Christmas. Oh, I mean, being so in Mexico for Christmas sounds like, <coughs> you know, very, very good, to be honest with you. But it's just, it is nice to just not... Not be at home. Yeah. I find it less stressful mm. not being at home. But it's the planning to be away that I would See, I find that easier. With. Because really? It's, yeah. Because when I'm at home for Christmas... It's like the table has to be done in a certain way and nobody can sit at it for like from Christmas Eve onwards till we sit down for dinner. Yeah. But when you're away, you can only work with what you've got. Okay. So I do take bits for the table. Yeah. So like crockery and cutlery and stuff. I can only use what's there. Whereas at home, I've got a different dinner service for Christmas. Canteen the cutlery that I use at Christmas. But I don't take any of that with me. So you only have a certain certain cutlery for Christmas? Yeah. Oh, my God. Do you know what? <laughs> Loads of people do that, don't they? Yeah. I, I, Mama's got a drawer. I don't do that. She's got a Christmas drawer. Really? Yeah. One day, maybe I'll have time to do that. But right now... Yeah. I mean, I did buy lots of crockery for Christmas, but it gets used every day. It's, it's a nice... Dinner set yeah. from Churchill's, do you know what I mean? So it's nice, but it's... It gets used every day. Yeah, and I've got a gold cutlery yeah. that now doesn't look so fancy because it's been in the dishwasher way too many times, so maybe I need to get some more cutlery. <laughs> Ready for Christmas. Ready for Christmas. Maybe I should put it up for Christmas. Maybe you should. Mm. So I've just buffed those just so they were, they were a little bit smoother <laughs> because... When you're layering, you might get it, it might be a bit higgledy piggledy, and I don't want it to be higgledy piggledy. So we're just going to re top coat these, and then they will be done. Izzy likes going away for Christmas, but she goes to places like Dubai and like she's been to Thailand. All the family went and they stayed in a um a gorgeous like big house in thailand they had their own chef because there's so many of them they kind of like all chip in yeah. and it was worth doing but yeah i i've never ever been away for christmas but i would do you know where i'd, lo I'd love to go for christmas viva la Vegas. <laughs> i just like go vegas for christmas and new year chris brown's on it new year that would be amazing yeah it sounds yeah be, that'd be amazing though. I don't know if the kids would appreciate going to Vegas so. though. <laughs> mm. Not the way you would. No. No. That's a very selfish thing for me to do really. <laughs> Happy Christmas kids, there's your Christmas present we're going to Yes, yeah, yeah. Right, bit of oil. And you ready for these winter nights? Do you like them? They're pretty, yeah. aren't they? Gorgeous! Ooh. Three when... came together there, doesn't it? Yeah. Stunning. I love them. <laughs> <laughs> there you are, guys. Wintery nails for you. Um, everything I've used today will be listed below. Don't forget to check us out on Facebook and Instagram and all that shebang. And thank you so much for watching. Love you all. ta -da -da. He's all right, he's all right. He's no. just dying a little bit. <laughs> oh, God! <laughs> I am about 100 times better than I was on Monday. Well, yeah, Sunday, Monday. well, that's good.